that lives here by the name of Dashade Noonbeam. You familiar with him? No, no. He's like the slam poetry. Um, I don't do slam poetry, but he does. And uh, he's an MC. He's in a group called Blasted, Blacklisted Individuals. Yeah. Um, I did community theater when I was, uh, when I was a, a kid, like when I was in elementary school and middle school. Yeah, yeah. And he was in a play with me, and I had to rap, but I didn't know how. Like, I didn't, because I was a, I was a um, guitar dude. Like, I was a rock dude. Like, I okay. like rock. I still do. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I play yeah, guitar. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I like, I like that's. My first love is like guitar, rock, blues. Right, right. And so he showed me like, no, nah, it's easy, man. This is how you do it. And ever since then, bro, I don't, I can't tell you really, you know what I mean? It's just like something just clicked, man. Man, dude, I was battling people in the who, who, whoever, bro. Yeah. It's kind of like it is now, man. Like you kind of have to have that mentality. I was battling whoever, person on the street, somebody in the subway, in high school, in the hallways. Bro, I would do battles around town. I would go out to Pflugerville and do battles, San Marcos, really? Dallas. It didn't matter. Yeah, bro. I just wanted to make I wanted to make a name for myself. And at the time, 8 Mile came out when I was a yeah, senior, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. 8 Mile came out when I, a, when I was a senior. So I was like, bro, that's how you do it. it and Eminem was on. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, this fool just slayed a bunch of people and got on. <laughs> All right. You yeah. know, I was like, I'll do that shit too. You know what I mean? Yeah. My sound, man, I think it's like, um, I'm like a... Uh, I kind of put myself in that like childish Gambino, Kid Cudi type lane, okay. but it's Texas. I like melody, yeah. you know. I don't. I like. I'm a good songwriter. I like melody. I don't like to, uh, you know, um, oversaturate some songs with just like yeah. oh bars, 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 bars. Right. Like you know what I mean? Like you know, bars aren't the most important thing. I'm more a representative of I feel like a new generation of of, of black people. You know, and then and it's a large generation of black people that don't necessarily. It's just a, we're just a little different, man, because we're younger. You know, we're, we were raised different. We're raised in different communities. A lot of us are raised in multicultural communities. Right, 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 so I feel like I represent that. You know, that kind of lane. That's the homie, man. We're from the same neighborhood, man. I knew him. You know, we played basketball in middle school. Um, he was a year older than me, yeah. um, but we played the eighth graders and I played against them. I, I went yeah. to high school with them, so we've always been cool. We, we both started performing when we were in high school, okay. you know, so we both have kind of like lived this life, but in parallel genres, right, uh, right, a right. parallel life in different genres, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Where it's like, you know, you know, he's been doing his thing, I've been doing my thing, and we just hung out the whole time. We sit around and just play guitar, pass the guitar back and forth and just yeah. talk, you know what I'm saying? You know, just talk about business, talk about just whatever, just laugh you're about at basketball. You were Gary. me. Yeah. I'm better at everything, bro. I'm better at basketball. I'm better at rap. I'm than that fool. I'm better at everything than that fool. Ah, I'm fucking around. That's the <laughs> homie though, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the homie fool. fool. He's on. Tough. He's been on the road. I, like we were joking around. My homeboy Jamel was like, bro, because he was talking. He's like, oh man, I, I'll put you on the court. You know, I'll do you, man. You know, you know, you're not, you're not ready for this. Yeah. And our homeboy Jamel was like, bro, Gary, you've been on the road for like two years. He's like, when was the last time you ran fast, bruh? <laughs> he's like, when was the last time you jumped, fool? <laughs> and Gary's all, that's a good point, dog. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good point, man. We were all cracking up. This is like the next Oakland. This is next. Yeah. This is the next Atlanta. This is the next Houston. It's right here. Go and look at all the hot rappers right now. All the dudes that you put, whatever you want to put in your top 10 list, right? Go look at all those rappers. Go look at all the way all these fools are dressed out here, man. Go away, go go talk to these fools and listen to the way these fools talk to you from Austin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's not we're not putting on no show. This yeah, is how yeah. we've been the whole time, right? right, right. right? We're we are a perfect representation of where hip hop is right now yeah, in yeah. terms of the multicultural aspect. You know what I'm saying? In terms of the musician aspect, in terms of right. people just coming together, in terms of the technology aspect. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being from here, we've always been at the forefront of technology here, and so I think. Now we're able to show it, you know, and it's just the perfect time. We're getting like the big national spot commercials. 
we're getting like the big, big looks in, as far as who wants to be here. All these rappers and producers, they're already here. Yeah. I talked to them, I've seen them, they've been here. I've had conversations with a yeah, lot yeah, of them, yeah. they're here. Yeah. The question is, who are you gonna fuck with from the town? Because you have to see somebody viable from here. You have to see, uh, you know, you have to see viability in the scene. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But I think that it's it's here. It's just one person saying, okay. And these labels ain't gonna do it because they're they're not they're dumb. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're gonna they're gonna wait for somebody to blow up and then try to cash it on the on the back end. These guys are gonna see viability in this thing and they're gonna put paper in it and you're gonna see it grow with the scene. And I think in right. the next two years, you're gonna see a lot of dudes from this town take off, bro. Anime tape is gonna be like, it's really just me being super, super fucking like honest and like, yo, this is me. I'm honest on everything, obviously, but it's like, yo, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I do. You know, we're watching hella anime. Cause I think there's like a large, a large, large percentage of like black people my age and in my generation that watch anime. And it's like nobody fucking like, People are like referencing in songs, but nobody, people act like this is like not there. Yeah. So I want to embrace it. I mean, DBZ is the god anime oh, yeah, of all yeah. animes. Uh, Blue Seed, um, Vampire Hunter D. I'm not a huge Cowboy Bebop fan. Yeah. I respect it. It's not, Gundam? Gundam? I love Gundam. Yeah. We played the game on PlayStation, boy. Yeah. Destroy it. <laughs> uh, Gundam. Uh, even older than that, I love Ronin Warriors. Um, a Volt, I'm a big Voltron guy. Yeah, um, yeah, Gene yeah. Saga, uh, Samurai Seven, um, Black Butler, uh, bro. I mean, we could go Ninja Scroll. Yeah. We can go on and on. Akira. We can go on and on and on and on and on. Yeah, uh, yeah. fucking uh, Zammed. Like Zammed is awesome, bro. <laughs> like you know what I mean? And, I, and I'm, I'm legitimately passionate about right, it. Right, right, you know, right. and, I, and like, and I, there's a bunch of my friends. We're all black, yeah. and we all like anime. You okay. know, I know there's just more than us. Slated to do uh, some Greaves dates. Uh, in Canada, California, yeah. the, kind of like the Midwest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then, man, I'm just getting back in the lab, dude. Uh, I'm trying to holler at, just trying to holler at different guys. Me and Gary are gonna work on a record oh, when wow. I come off the tour. Yeah. Man, you know what I mean? Hopefully start dropping, uh, we'll probably try to drop the Paul Wall record when I'm on the tour. Uh, drop yeah. the Chingo record when I get back from tour. Yeah. Always shooting videos, man. Sure, sure. You know, we're completely independent, 100% independent. You know, I'm quarterbacking it, so it's like, you know, constantly doing stuff. Yeah. Constantly doing stuff, constantly scheduling, constantly strategizing, constantly trying to figure out ways to fucking put the city on. Hey, what's up, man? It's Franchise, South Austin Hero. I'm here with Longhorn Hip Hop. Make sure you follow him on Twitter, at Longhorn Hip Hop. Franchise hates you. ATX, let's go. Doors wide open in the beat state. Bumping in the tree state. Come and get a tree state. Coming down late. They got they, they got their doors wide open in a 